Hey everybody, this is Michael Gatewood and I'm uh, going to show you a really cool effect that uh, I think is pretty easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to be able to create a fade, a cross fade from a image to a background. This is really good for PowerPoint and other options. I'm in Adobe Photoshop CC 2014 which basically means we've got the new upgrades that were added this year. First thing I'm going to do is just click on the lock and the lock goes away. That's pretty quick and easy. No dragging it down to the trash can. No being able to go in there and double click on the layer and rename the layer. Just click on the lock and she's gone. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and name the layer just for fun and we'll call it girl. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer. And I'm going to call this one white for paper or a white background. <clears throat> At that point I'm going to fill with foreground color and I need you to see that we have a background color that is white so we'll go and do it the slow way but edit let's go to fill and let's go background color because that's where the white is and click OK and now we have white. You're going to see that we need to change the layer order and put the white below the girl. Can't see it but we'll go back to the girl layer. The next thing we're going to do is add a mask. Masking is not difficult. It is showing and hiding whatever's in the layer. So what I'm going to do is click and I've got a nice white mask showing everything that's happening in the layer. That's pretty easy. White reveals, black conceals. Well let's go with a gradient. And on the gradient, white to black. So that allows us to be able to go in there and do our white to black gradient. Sorry about that, popped out of Photoshop for a moment. Now what I'm going to do is simply, here, bear with me, go into the gradient tool, white to black, and I'm going to start here where I think the image needs to be pretty solid, but I got a bunch of garbage in the background, people walking around. And then what I'm going to do is fade from here and go to here. What that does is allow me to go with a gradient from white to black. You can see it within the mask, white to black. And this allows me to add copy here. But if you don't like this background, simply go to the bottom layer and you can simply go edit, fill, and maybe foreground color, which is black, and all of a sudden now we have a fade to black. Um, again, I like the white a little better, so we'll undo that fill, and we're back to the white. This is great for PowerPoints where you just want to show part of an image and then have a softly transition to add copy. If I want to add copy here, I can go and throw a copy block into the mix. And another option that I love is called Pastem Lorium Epsom which is to fill with placeholder text. If that text isn't showing, it's because it's white on white. And let's select it and change its color to black so you can see it. And now we have copy. That copy might be a little big, so if we need to, we can bring it down a little bit. And let's go a little bit more, maybe to something that's a little more option within there and maybe a center. And this allows us to be able to go in here and drop a copy block into our PowerPoint, our presentation with a soft fade. Remember we have to have a mask. White reveals, black conceals. This is a cool option. A nice gradient mask for you to use. My name is Michael Gatewood. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And please support some of our advertisers that are on the page. That affords us to be able to keep doing this, giving you great tips. Later.